Hi there, and welcome to another virtual retro tour. This one's special. We're taking a look at Heroes at 186 Dundas Street in London, Ontario. This place is mind blowing. From the outside, it looks like a comic shop, but when you go in, it's about, to me at least, it felt like three or four times the size of typical comic shops that I've been in, and it is just so jam-packed. It's overwhelming. I'm reminded of the line from Simon Furman in the final issue of the Marvel Transformers comic, it never ends. Now, I'm not really big on telling people you need this figure or you need this toy, but uh, I'm very close to saying you need to get to Heroes if you've never been here. If you're in Southern Ontario, heck, if you're in Northern Ontario, if you're in Saskatchewan, if you're in BC, come here. This place is special. It is incredible. It was really overwhelming. My camera work here might be a little bit erratic because I'm just giddy. Tons of statues, figures, vintage, modern comics. It is an actual comic shop too. Got retro Kenner here. There's some Joes underneath too. Uh, this place is featured in a great show on Amazon Prime called Action Figure Adventure. It's the headquarters and I can't think of a better headquarters for that show. I've talked about in previous videos how special Toys R Us was to me and before the Toys R Us was built in 1986 in Kitchener. Highway Market before that. Highway Market was my go-to place where you rode the escalator to Valhalla and it had an amazing toy section and there's lots of people in southern Ontario who fondly remember Highway Market. This place reminds me more of Highway Market than any other place I have ever seen in my life. It has the variety and the personal touches as well, and that's thanks to Brom, the owner, who was nice enough to let me walk around and get a little footage to show this place off for you. And I feel like I didn't even scratch the surface. I was in here for an hour, and I feel like I didn't even really get a good look at half of what's here. There is something for everyone here. Marvel, Transformers, mix of vintage and modern Transformers here, and the prices are incredible as well. Sometimes I'll go into a toy shop and all I need to do is take a look at two or three items uh, and see the price tag. And by the way, everything is priced here or almost everything is priced, which is really nice too, because it's annoying to have to constantly be asking how much for this, how much for that. It's just nice to see the price and decide for yourself. But from what I can gather, just based on my knowledge of pricing going by completed eBay listings. All the prices I saw here are exceptional. So these are some of the higher end collectibles, the statues, but there's plenty of more affordable stuff for people on a tighter budget. Some newer stuff great to see gi joe well represented here great assortment of classified figures funko pops naturally and lots of rare comics and they offer membership beautiful artwork all on the walls too it's not just about the toy artistry, but the actual wall artistry. And some obscure stuff like the Christmas story, old man with his lamp. And I'm not familiar with quite a bit of stuff, but I'm sure a lot of people out there are. So if something jumps out at you, feel free to share a memory. You can even include a timestamp so other people can take a look at it and see what you're talking about. There's 
lots of Marvel Legends all around the store in different sections, fitting for a comic book store. Tons of graphic novels. The whole wall is filled with them. Great Transformers section that rivals the big Toys R Us Transformers section, plus things you'll never see in a Toys R Us or Walmart for that matter. There's some Transformers model kits. And Mega SCF, love these when they first came out. There's a great alien section too. Got some vintage five points of articulation style figures from the first movie. Right. As well as some more detailed and articulated figures. Like I said, prices are incredible. These are all in Canadian prices too. This guy looks just like I feel. And Bishop. Alien 3 Ripley, Alien 4. And poor Mr. Kinney. The old man was so disappointed. Tons of loose figures all over the store. There's some under the counter and then these off to the side. $5.99 if not priced. Once again, greatly appreciated knowing how much you're going to be spending if you start to build a little pile of figures you want to buy. And there is, I believe, a Hot Toys Hulk from Age of Ultron. That thing is colossal. Some supersized figures here too, if you're a fan of the old superpowers. Got some oversized Batman and Joker figures. That's especially great if you're the type of collector who isn't really hardcore into this stuff. You don't want to fill up a whole room, but you have one special figure. Maybe grandma got it for you or your mom got it for you for a special birthday. And you just want that one figure, but you want it to be represented a little bit bigger and grander than just a little four inch figure sitting on a shelf so the supersized figures are a great way to remember those classic beloved figures but larger than life colossal minifigure section is that an oxymoron you really get the feeling of a convention when you come in here so if conventions haven't been running in your area or maybe you're just burned out on conventions. I've spoken to some people who are just over it. They don't want to deal with everything that's involved with a convention. Come here, because this is a convention in a store. It really has the same overwhelming, special, magical feeling of all this different stuff all together. It's the He-Man section here, 2000X. Strawberry Shortcake, and some vintage E-Man figures as well, with the rare ones too. If you're looking for the rare stuff, like Ninjor, they've got them here. And that's a really reasonable price for an almost complete Ninjor in great condition. There's a mask, a couple of G.I. Joe vehicles over here as well. And bins. Like I said, if you want that convention feel, there's nothing like rustling through a bin looking for that literally buried treasure. And some more jumbo figures. Like I was saying, if that He-Man figure in 1982 was the special one for you, a colossal He-Man figure is a great way to commemorate that. Marvel Legends section. Unbelievable. Staggering. Overwhelming. And I wish I could do the image justice. I need a 
wide angle lens to do that, but you just feel completely surrounded by love and wonder and imagination and adventure when you are in here. It just, this image right here, which you're seeing all the different figures all hanging from pegs with the wood floor takes me right back to Highway Market. That's exactly how that store was all set up. And some origins with a couple of guys that are hard to find in stores, like there was an ninja right there. And some Scooby-Doo figures. Uh-oh. Shaggy doesn't come with any Scooby snacks, unfortunately. And the king. He's all shook up. So many glass cabinets. And it never ends. Just when you think you've seen so much incredible stuff, there is a life-sized silver surfer hanging from the ceiling. Outstanding. And that's a cool looking kite. It's an X-Wing going down in flames. I guess it's a Porkins X-Wing or Maybe Biggs. More Funko Pops. More comics. Now if you want just a traditional comic book store feel, this is it. In the back section right here, you've got tons of single issue comics. More Marvel Legends over here. And my two favorite comic characters, the Knucklehead and Cable. And it still never ends. This section back here is also so incredible. G1 Transformers, modern, vintage, and in between. More giant statues. Some vintage Star Wars, the Ewok Village, the Phantom from G.I. Joe. Look at that maggot. I've never been so tempted by a maggot before. The AT-AT. Whoa! And a life-sized flashing gremlin. Vintage 12-inch. Something for people from the 90s, from the 80s, from the 70s. All right, so as if that's not enough, there's one more section. And this is what was really, really special for me. Highway Market, my childhood toy store, had an escalator that took you up to the toy section from the department store section. And this isn't an escalator, but it's still a stairway to heaven. Another section of more figures, comic, as well as movie, TV show, more Funko Pops, wrestling, Marvel Select, more bins of comics and graphic novels. Oh, this guy. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me one moment. Just every time I see Walter Peck, I feel the uncontrollable urge to wag a disapproving fist of disapproval at him. A 
little wrestling end cap right here. If you long for the days of when your parents would drop you off at a toy store and said, keep busy, don't leave the store, don't talk to strangers, and you would just wander and wander and look and read, you can have that again. That's at Heroes. And I just love that there is a space set aside for the Duke. John Wayne has a presence in Heroes as well. And a look at the surfer from the balcony and a bird's eye view of the store with ceilings that are so high. And there's the X-Wing going down in flames. I can almost hear Big saying, I'm all right. And here are the figures right next to the stairs. A lot of them are five points of articulation, reaction figures. It's just like Highway Market used to have them. So that's Heroes in London, Ontario. Check them out. If you're local to London, if you're not local to London, check them out. It is an absolutely incredible experience. It's got a huge variety of stuff and you don't have to deal with the traffic and crowdedness of downtown Toronto. It's a definite pilgrimage point. So if you're able to, visit it in person. And if not, hope you enjoyed this video and definitely check out Action Figure Adventure on Amazon Prime Video to see more of it. Not just a great show about collecting cool stuff, but a show about refocusing on what's important. What this stuff really means to us deep down. It's not what's on the shelves, it's who's on the shelves, and the memories of loved ones and special moments that those characters hold for us. Thanks again for the tour, Brom. Nerdmas Day.